background, it's like extremely fascinating to think like this at all. And it's not something that's even possible in most environments, I, I would say. And sort of all the talk of, uh, you know, creativity and, uh, you know, in businesses and, and you know, uh, work fast and break things and all of that stuff. Uh, you still have, say, our, our local tech companies uh, working in probably a, a very strict culture, uh, actually. Uh, and it would only take one mean look to break the environment of, you know, go ahead and try and failure's okay. Uh, you know, it wouldn't take much to stop that. Um, so, so could you talk a little more about what happens after, like what can happen after they go through a couple of projects like this? Is there, is there, you think some lasting benefits to the, to the kids yeah. and the parents and the teachers? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Me personally, I learned so much from this project because um, every student ends up um, following their own path, uh, following their own interests, which I think is also super important for me not to constantly give them their subject matter to work on. Um, they're allowed to kind of figure out what interests them and follow through on that, um, which again is another source of uncertainty because <laughs> there's so many rabbit holes that they can sort of fall into. So a lot of my job is just to support them and guide them and kind of um, help them focus down their scope because usually usually they come up with ideas that could be PhDs you know like <laughs> this is a month project so you gotta, you gotta rein it in. I think in terms of the student learning the biggest thing is to be nimble and creative a creative thinker. Um, how do you how do you take something and look at it and really see it and unpack it and explore it and all of its opportunities that it it can actually bring to you and your craft and your pro and your um, your process and your practice. Um, so I think the the I think the the biggest thing is that creative thinking that that ability to to see and look at things differently. Have um, have you ever had this? I, I, have you been in environments where this is something that? could spread beyond the individual classroom and become a little more cultural in, in a school environment. Uh, because most, most classes are telling them to sit there and be quiet and do their work. It makes them very uncomfortable. Uh, they, they, they resist. I've had classes almost revolt against this project. I've had classes completely embrace it. I've had students that come up to me afterwards words and say, you know, this is not for me. And I've had students come up to me and say, this is totally for me. And so I think in a school environment, it's important for them to be exposed to both those things, both of those things. So they actually understand who they are within the art culture so that they can pick and choose which direction they can they, they go in because there's room for all of that. There's room for the, 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 the people who don't want limitations and there are, and there's lots of room for people who like the rules and like the structure. So, yeah, I mean, there's, I have students who hate, hate my class <laughs> and has, that's good. Has the format of the class been, they do this over a semester or is, is this like more workshop based? This is one project over, right. uh, so there's three projects in the semester. This is one of them. But you, so you do have the same group of kids for a semester. Yeah. that you're working with on this yeah, yeah, yeah I see. Okay. Yeah. and they're undergrads I'm not sure uh, it's a lot of work it's almost like a capstone class where where they're each work, working on their own, own project but this is even condensed even further into one month mm -hmm. um, so again it's a, it's far more work than I probably should be giving myself <laughs> <laughs> do you right this is not a multiple choice test you're grading at, yeah at that point yeah. Do you do you find they get better over time? Uh, how do you mean? Uh, well, I, I like initially maybe they are too concerned about not having the rules and it makes them very nervous. Uh, are they able to embrace the creative process more uh, with practice uh, over time? I mean, I, I mean, I've, I've, you know, I've never studied that. I've never looked into that. Um, 
uh, I would hope so. I would hope that that would be a, a, a good end result to something like this, where they kind where they kind of embrace that way of thinking and looking and, and working. Um, yeah, I, I, I have not tracked it. I mean, during the project, we've had some um, students who have changed from hating it to liking it, <laughs> but that was only in that one project. When they when they when they started to see what other students are producing and just the range and and beauty of the end results, and I actually I brought some images from my sorry my cat just came up to visit. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, I have some uh, projects of my students from from this semester that I can share if, if sure. yeah I, I think we've got five more minutes so that's a good transition great okay so let me share my screen so this is um a video by a student who was looking at can you see my screen yeah, yeah. um looking at alcoholism And then I have, uh, so that, that student had never made a stop motion animation before in her entire life. So she self-taught herself that function for this project in particular. And one of the limitations to this project is the egg has to be present in the project in some capacity. So she used the broken eggshells to talk about what it feels like to live in an environment with an alcoholic. Um, and I mean, I, that came from her personal experience. So some things become extremely raw and extremely personal and quite cathartic. Um, this is a project by a girl who, a woman who wanted to, um, who wanted to look at branding. So she found Nest Maternity, which is an existing um, company and she decided she would rebrand it. And so she, re she did the logo and she rebranded their website um, and she did some tags and some color coding for the, the products that this company would offer. Um, this student did a book about alien life forms <laughs> and whether they exist or not. And these are, these are photographs of for exploration with the eggs. So these are where the eggs come into play. Um, looking at common um, sayings of what comes first, the chicken or the egg. Um, and these, yeah, she illustrated the whole thing herself. And um, it's quite funny. It's quite lovely. <laughs> I would love, I told her if she ever printed this book, I'd want a copy. And then she's working with some, some uh, contemporary um, aliens from our media. Um, and this student here uh, created um, an app for, for people suffering from anxiety, looking at the egg as a symbol for uh, fragility and strength um, and how we have both in ourselves. And this app would, would act as a support mechanism. So you can kind of see how, how absolutely um, diverse and, and how students bring in their own focus and their what they what they can sort of latch on to and hang on to in terms of um, um, their interests. Great. It's it's um, I just get the feeling like I wish I could do this somewhere. <laughs> you know, <laughs> after seeing it, it just it just seems like a very unique, unusual experience that you, you know, it'd be hard to know what would come out of it if you <laughs> yeah, and so so my dilemma is we're online in the fall, so yeah. I have no idea how this translates to an online project because it really is in the beginning very community oriented because I hand I give them each an egg in class and say go like right. yeah <laughs> and they're all just kind of looking at each other going what is she talking about and then together they discuss it. And they really work as peers together and collaborate and discuss and, and, and 
show each other what they're doing and learn from each other that it's okay. What they're doing is all okay. Mm-hmm. And of course I'm running around going, yay, you could do it. Yay. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Where is it that you do this class? Uh, San Francisco state university. At state. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm, I don't know if I can translate this into a, a remote learning opportunity or not. Oh, you'll figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Zoom breakout rooms might, might work. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could drive by their house and throw eggs at them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you for 